guys welcome back to my channel I'm Jasmine thank you all so much for checking me out and I hope you subscribe and turn on your notifications and all that good stuff because I got so much more in store for you guys like I kid you not today I'm gonna be doing a product review of the makeup forever matte velvet foundation I got a couple of requests from you guys to do this so I am quite excited to be showing you what this foundation can do and my findings so without further ado let's get started this is the foundation right here and let's get started with the stats for one this is 1.01 fluid ounces this comes in a variety of shades 21 to be exact i believe it's 21 shades it's supposed to give yourself a matte velvet finish and it's supposed to provide you with flawless even coverage and I don't believe there's any SPF in this because it doesn't say anywhere on the box this product is about $38 yeah I got this for $38 at the Sephora and my color if you are wondering is number 80 I previously had number 75 but for some reason I just didn't like how it was looking on me I felt like it was too light and it definitely showed my parentheses which I do not like like but this color is actually really really great on my skin I feel like it's the perfect fit and I feel like it is definitely my color so we rock with number 80 all right as far as the packaging is concerned it's pretty basic this is a you know a basic squeezy tube you twist off the cap and it's this sort of pointy nozzle it's a squeeze tube so you don't have to pour product onto wherever you pour product you can actually squeeze it but I know for some people that might pose a problem because you know sometimes like me for instance I tend to overdo it with the foundation so yeah I need to work on that but really with this a little definitely goes a very long way and the coverage of this is extremely 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 flawless so good stuff before I apply the foundation I did put a primer on the primer that I'm using right now is the Becca ever matte poreless primer I didn't use any sort of color corrector I just wanted the foundation on my face so that's exactly what I did and I applied the foundation maybe around one o'clock right now it is 217 and so far the makeup has held on pretty pretty well and of course I've applied other things to my face as well I used a powder to set the foundation and the powder that I used was the makeup forever dual matte because of course I wanted to keep that in the family at least so so far I love how this foundation wears I've been wearing this foundation since I got it and I even brought this foundation with me to Amsterdam this was the only foundation that I brought with me and I absolutely loved it and I still wear it to this day this might be even holy grail status I'm just saying just saying as far as the pros go I feel like this foundation fits me well I think that this is the right color for me with makeup forever it's so easy to find your shade or whatever comes close to your shade and I'm so thankful that you know makeup forever just has a wide variety of shades available to every shade of beauty Okay, can I get an amen? Another pro is that this foundation is so compact, like you can put this in your bag or whatever. It's just so easy to take away. It's just so like slim and like cute, but you still get the regular amount of product that you would get with any sort of normal foundation. Like this, for instance, this Makeup Forever, this is also 1.01 fluid ounces, but I just love how easy this is to pack away into your bag or whatever whenever you want to like travel or just put it in your bag for emergencies not me I'm also a fan of the price the price is $38 I think $37 or $38 compared to the ultra HD which is like $45 I'm gonna save my $7 okay and buy lunch and this does keep me mad for most of the day most of the day, not all of the day, look, I mean, nothing's going to keep me mad all day. Nothing. No. I haven't found it. If you can tell me, I'd love to know. Another pro, and this has to be the biggest pro, no creasing. I get no creasing. Mm -mm. 
I don't even got to worry about it. I don't even have to worry about it. I could literally wear this foundation all day, smiling, frowning, you name it, no creasing all day. Top, 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 top. All day. Now this is truly an all day flawless coverage foundation and really a little bit goes a long way. Sometimes what I like to do is when I apply the foundation on my face, I just take some setting spray and spray it on my brush and then I start blending out the foundation on my face. That way it definitely stays all day. So that's what I've been doing as of late. And let me know if you guys want to see a everyday makeup foundation or everyday makeup routine from me because I don't think I've filmed one in a hot minute and I kind of feel like I have my makeup routine for work down packed. So let me know by giving me a thumbs up and we can get started on that. Cool. I like that it's a squeezy tube. I like the fact that you don't have to pour it out of the tube and like there's nothing that spills. You can just like squeeze it out and things like that. And I love that because it's mess free. Oh, another pro. Flash photography, of course, is beautiful. Beautiful flash photography. You do not have to worry about flash when there's a photo opportunity for you. You don't, you don't have to worry about it. So as far as cons, to be honest with you, I really do not have any, I just don't. I mean, I, I'm really trying to think of some, but I really, really don't. And I mean, of course it doesn't keep the oil at bay, but to be honest, nothing keeps my oil at bay. But when my oil comes out when using this foundation, my skin doesn't look super oily, it just looks dewy. And it looks like I'm glowing from within and I get so many compliments. All right, so overall, I would give this foundation a four and a half out of five stars. I mean, I would have given it five stars, but to be honest with you, nothing is perfect and there's always room for improvement. So I'm going to keep that 0.5 stars to myself and let Makeup Forever improve this foundation and make it even better than what it is right now. I mean, truly, it's great for me right now. It's holy grail. That's what all I've been using, all I've been using. And I have all these foundations here that are not getting any love from me. Oh well. So that is all for this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. And if you did, you know what to do. You already know what to do. Give your sister a thumbs up. Give a two thumbs up. Give a 500 thumbs up. Also share this video with anyone you know who has oily skin and is looking for a holy grail foundation because I think I may have found it. This is my love. Also, I want to know if you guys have tried out this foundation. If you did, please let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. I want to know what you found good about it and what you found not so great about it. So definitely let me know in the comment section how you feel and we can get to talking. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week for you guys, mainly Sundays and Thursdays. And also be sure to turn on your notifications so that way you get updates on my latest upload and all you got to do is click on that little turny thing next to the subscribe button to turn on your notifications you know so that way you can get notifications from me you know i want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel and i will see you all in the next one peace